There's a growing obsession on YouTube, the unrelenting desire to get more views and subscribers. Every video creator is faced with the same issues. How do I get more views? How do I get more people to subscribe? I'm sure you've seen it. Every second video asks you to give a thumbs up, leave a comment below, hit the like and subscribe buttons, and make sure to click the notification bell. But what for? Why are they all asking for more and more subscribers? Well, there are a number of reasons, but this obsession is leading to a growing trend of people filming themselves doing increasingly dangerous and extreme activities. All this in the name of getting more views. So first of all, why do they do it? Well, the obvious reason is money. YouTube will not monetize a channel until that channel reaches 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in the previous 12 months. New channels will do almost anything to get to those figures. Just for your interest, this channel has over 6,500 watch hours in the last 12 months, but only has 872 subscribers. So sadly, I don't make a single cent from this. So if you don't want my children to go hungry, and you don't want my wife missing out on her new pair of designer shoes, subscribe today, you stingy freeloaders! Of course, I'm joking. I have a crappy day job that pays the bills. But some channels already have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Why do they continue to do more and more extreme things? Well, the more views that a video gets, the more potential for ad revenue. But the unfortunate thing about most people is that their insatiable desire for more and more money is never fulfilled. Even if a YouTuber is getting $1,000 a month, do you really think that they want to stop there? Of course not. They want to get to $5,000, then $10,000. But to be fair, it's not just the money that inspires people. Especially for younger YouTubers, becoming famous is a major goal. They like to splash their face all over their channels and show how cool they are. They want to be the next big thing, hoping to strike a deal with a record label or a TV network. Fame has become synonymous with YouTube stardom. I for one, as you probably already have gathered, have no interest in fame. I don't want to be recognised on the street. I don't want people coming up to me and asking me to say a catchphrase or stand on my head. Fame is a burden, in my opinion, not a blessing. Other YouTubers just need validation in their lives. They just want to know that others care about them and that they are accepted in society. One way to measure this is by their number of views and subscriber count. Unfortunately, this obsession can lead to mental health issues. For example, if up until recently a creator was receiving 100 subscribers a day, and then suddenly they start losing subscribers, this can really make them feel miserable. What have I done wrong? Why are people leaving? Mental breakdowns of popular YouTubers are becoming more and more commonplace. This endless pursuit of views has led to some disastrous results. Three young YouTube stars of the extreme travel channel High on Life fell to their death at a waterfall in Canada in July this year. Riker Gamble, Alexi Lyak, and Megan Scraper were swimming at the top of Shannon Falls in British Columbia when they slipped and fell into a pool 30 metres below. In August this year, Trevor Heitman, aka McSkillet, was driving his McLaren supercar at more than 100 miles per hour in the wrong direction when it collided with a Hyundai SUV in which a mother and daughter were travelling, killing them both. Heitman was also killed. He was only 18 years old. In June 2017, in the hope of making them famous on YouTube, Mona Lisa Perez, 19, shot 22-year-old Pedro Ruiz in the chest from a foot away while he held an encyclopedia as a shield. He died at the scene. Their three-year-old son was in the room at the time. Just last month, an 11-year-old English boy, Tyler Broom, was left with horrific injuries after attempting a viral stunt known as the Roundabout of Death. He lay in the middle of the playground ride as one of his so-called friends used a moped's back wheel to spin the ride at high speed. As the ride began to slow, you can see Tyler slump forward as he tried to sit up. Doctors said that the centrifugal force generated by the spinning forced fluid and blood into his head, causing bruising and bloodied eyes. The injuries are similar to those seen in fighter pilots suffering the effects of high G-force. So my question is, is it all worth it? 
How far should we go in order to get more views? Some people offer subscriber swaps. If you subscribe to me, I'll subscribe to you. But this doesn't generate genuine viewers, it's just an artificial way to increase subscribers. Others pay foreign groups to artificially increase their view counts. They probably just have teams of people sitting in a room watching hundreds of videos a day, spending greater time on those that offer a higher bid. Of course, you'll find hundreds if not thousands of videos out there offering tips on how to exploit the YouTube search algorithm. Personally, I don't think any of them really know how it all works. The only people who would know would be the actual YouTube developers. I think a lot of it comes down to luck and good timing. If your video is lucky enough to get featured on the front page, you'll probably end up getting hundreds of thousands of views. Either way, it's not worth endangering yourself just to increase some arbitrary number. If you like making videos, make videos. If you like putting your opinion on the internet, well go ahead and do so. But chasing views and subscribers is a silly endeavour. You'll only end up getting depressed and disappointed. If you get lucky, great. If you don't, who cares? As long as you enjoy doing what you are doing, what else matters? What about the mushrooms I hear you ask? Well, in my city, mushrooms are like hen's teeth, much like YouTube channels that have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. It's been raining a lot of late, perfect conditions for mushroom hunting. So this morning, I went out and took a whole bunch of photos. I thought it was analogous to the current topic. But if you don't think so, well, at least you got to enjoy some nice pictures. At the very least, I got to go for a walk out in nature and experience the beauty of it all. People have tried offering tips to get more subscribers. People have tried to do dangerous stunts. So I'm going to try something different. Mild threats. If you don't subscribe to my channel today, I'm going to stop making videos and delete the whole bloody lot. And if you think I'm ch